Hi, I'm Patrick. Creating videos that will help you to crack the CAT examination. I already created a video for students who are weak in mathematics in terms of how to go about preparing. A lot of students are weak who have gone to Ahmedabad and done really well in terms of quant. And there's no way to give up hope. This specific video is for people who are strong in mathematics or who believe they are strong in mathematics. The problem with a lot of people who, are we, who believe that they are strong in mathematics is that they find it difficult to improve. I will give you three such examples. I will give you three examples of people who are strong in mathematics. I first example is my own. I remember I have struggled very hard for mathematics when I was preparing for CAT. So when the first time I gave CAT, I did well in mathematics score, but I couldn't convert my calls. So I gave my CAT again. That one whole year which was there, I really worked hard. I mean, I studied mathematics. Every day when I used to come back from office, practice mathematics on the books every day. But what happened? My score actually came down, which was sad. And why was that? Because I was not open to learning. I felt I was good. I felt I had to just practice that little bit and I will get it. But that did not happen because I felt I was good and I didn't, I was not open to learning. And I see this for a lot of students who have scored really high in their count or in their marks that they're reluctant to learn. And because they're reluctant to learn, instead of scores going up, they actually go down with practice. So it's very important that once your scores are good and once you feel you're good in it, try to learn new techniques, new methods so that your scores can improve. Because with whatever you know, your scores will get limited to that extent. Second example, I remember in my class, there was one this engineer and there were like three or four commerce students were there. And when I should teach the sum, that engineer should solve it very fast. He was really good in mathematics, no doubt about it. He should get the answer quickly. The commerce students were on A way, oh wow, I mean, he can solve it so fast. So they went to him to learn from him. I checked out, I saw his methods. I saw that the methods, though he is good in mathematics, but I found that he would find it difficult to crack the CAT exam. So I told the four students not to study with him, in a sense like, follow your own methods. I went about him separately and tried to convince him that he has to change his methods. But the problem is, you know, when you're good, like the way I was in the first time, it's very difficult to change what you feel you're good at. So he stuck to his methods. In the end, what happened? Those four students were there. They managed to get into IAM Bangalore, XLRI, Narsi Monji, etc. This person did not get admission to any of the top college. Though he was better in mathematics. And the problem is, because he was better at mathematics, he did not learn the tricks and turns that are required to crack the cat count. Third example, I remember a guy from uh, IIT Mantas who had given the CAT, scored a 95 percentile, was sitting in my class and I just put a sum on the board and he was able to solve it. Like it was a tough sum, not very difficult and he was able to solve it. So I went and saw his sum. It was like a 7-8 line with derivatives and this and that and he got the answer. I said, wow, if you can solve this, then you should be able to crack the CAT easily. But the same sum had showed him that you could easily solve it by using two or three steps just by using the options. Okay. I would never be able to solve what he did. Okay. But I told him that if you want to be cracked cat and not necessarily be good at mathematics, you have to change your methods. He changed, he got into I am Calcutta, but then he got into I am Calcutta because he changed his methods. So for a good students to improve is a little difficult. And that improvement will come only if you learn how to change what you practice and what you follow. So I will maybe mention some five methods or five ways in which you can maybe improve your methods to improve or mathematics as such if you're really good at maths. Okay, first is follow the right people and follow very few people. One common mistake that people do is people follow too many people around. What happens when you follow too many people? Because there is YouTube, there is so many social media platforms where you can easily follow others. But when you follow too many people, it leads to confusion. You're following one method from one person, second method from second person. Now his method is different from his method. So automatically, you will create confusion. Because when I teach, I have a continuity with regards to the entire topics which are there. So there is some way average connected to time space distance in terms of methods. And same with each faculty. He follows the way he is teaching across methods. 
Now, if you follow one topic from here and second topic from here, the continuity is lost and that creates a confusion. So pick up a few faculty whom you can follow. People who have really done well in the exam and have cracked. Maybe you can follow my videos on YouTube. I have cracked cat six times in terms of getting 100 percentile. There is Rajesh who is there who's got four times 100 percentile. And there's so many others online who are there. Pick up few of them and try to follow them. Try to follow their methods. That should help. Okay. That is the first thing that you can do. Follow few people, but follow them religiously in terms of trying to change your methods. Second, you have to, on your own, try to improve. I mean, everything cannot come from outside. You have to. Now, when you learn something from one person, suppose you see, saw my video, saw a method, try to apply it. I normally say whenever you have a sum, always before you start solving, take two minutes, keep your pen aside and try to solve on your own. See if you can get a better method or see if you can get a way to solve without using a pen. After you solve the sum, you've so seen the solution, go back to the sum and see if you can get a better method to solve the sum. I normally tell that it is important to focus on quality than quantity. It doesn't matter how many sums you solve. What matters is how much time have you given to per sum for improvement. So I normally say that take 10 minutes per sum before the sum two minutes, after the sum maybe one, two minutes extra and try to see if you can improve. So in an hour, even if you solve six, seven sums, that's more than sufficient. But spend that time to improve and over a period of time, you'll realize that you'll be getting the methods faster. But for that, to start with, you have to spend that time to improve. And that self-time is very important in terms of improvement. Second thing that I mentioned. Okay. Third thing is try to avoid the exotic formula. And a lot of people come up with a shortcut saying that if you use this formula, you'll get the answer. Very frankly, the formulas are not useful for the CAT exam. CAT is basically based on your school syllabus, nothing beyond that. I have no idea about all the remainder theorems and the Euler theorem and the Chinese theorems. I have no idea about it. But I can still crack all these sums in the exam. Why? Maybe because I don't know all these sums. The more you gain knowledge, the more you try to apply them in the sums. And the more you try to apply in the sums, that create confusions in the methods that you solve. So in that case, it makes sense not to follow too many methods around, okay, on too many formulas around. It just creates confusion. Focus on methods or sums that you can apply to many sums. So if you have a formula which you can apply to many, many sums, perfect, all right. A method like allegation which you can solve to many sums, perfectly all right. But a method like Euler's which is cannot be, can be applied only to a specific sum doesn't make sense. It will never come in the exam anyway. So no, avoid exotic formulas. Try to solve sums with simple techniques and tricks like using options, substituting values. That will help you better as far as the examination is concerned. Fourth is try to avoid equations as far as possible. Equations make you slow. I mean, I'm not saying you should not know how to use equations. Use equations. But when you're solving it for the first time, try avoid equations. Because in the exam, you will do what you're habituated to. If you're habituated to using equations, you will use equations in every sum. So my normal recommendation is avoid equations as far as possible. Try to do it orderly. Once you finish that, then go back and then use equations if you want. Okay, but your habit should be not to use equation in the first book. Fifth, try to use, solve things orally instead of writing it down. I mean, for that, you need to be really good at calculation, simple calculation, because CAT doesn't expect you to do exotic calculations. For exotic calculations, you always have a calculator. But simple two-digit calculation, you should be able to do in your mind. So try whatever sums are there, be good at calculation and try to do it mentally. Over a period of time, when you start doing it mentally, your methods will come along. Because you're forced not to use pen, and because you're forced not to use pen, you'll automatically search for methods. In the mocks, maybe you'll still use pen. But in the practice, try avoid doing that. That should help you to get your methods and build. So if you can do this, five things that I mentioned, I'm sure it will help you to improve on your count. To improve your count to maybe a 99 percentile to maybe a 100 percentile. That is what the target is. And it's easy to improve. It's not that you have to be great at mathematics. I know so many people who are better at me in pure mathematics, but cannot score as much as I can in the con section of the CAT. Understand the con section of CAT is more logic based and not pure mathematical based. You can look at my CAT 17, 18 solutions. I'll be uploading CAT 19 solutions also and see the methods I use in the exam. You will realize what I'm talking about. I hope this video helps. If you like this video, please like the video. Please share it with your friends, right? 
and you can comment on any other videos that you want. I'll be happy to create videos that will help you with regards to your CAD preparation. Thank you and see you in your next video.